Hello and welcome to the course on C programming learn to code series. This is the 15th lecture of unit 2 and in this lecture we will talk about character data types in C. So let's begin. So first of all let us understand what do you mean by a character. In C programming a character represents a letter, a number or a symbol enclosed with a single code. So some examples I have given here like A enclosed with single quote is a character. Similarly, K with uh, single quote uh, enclosement is called a character. Similarly, a number I am using it but I have put it sim uh, inside the single quote. This is also represents a character. Right, so that means any symbol or letter or number if I enclosed it with a single quote then that is treated as a character. Then which are not character? So these are not character like if you enclose two or multiple symbols or characters inside a single quote then that cannot be treated as a character. Five here I am not including five in inside a single quote that's why this is also not treated as a character. Similarly the last one that is 3RF is also not included in the character. Now how to store this character in the memory okay some problems will come how some problems will come where we need to store some character inside the memory for that we should understand what C programming uh, means C programming language provide us to store a character inside the memory. So let us uh, solve uh, do that. Now to represent a character or to store a character in the memory C programming provides a keyword that is called a character that is your char is the keyword which is used to declare a variable where we can store some character. So how to declare that? So let us understand it. How to declare a variable using character keyword. So character keyword is char. So how to declare that? If you remember in the last class we talked about integer uh, integer variable sorry integer data type and I told you to declare a variable you should write data type then your variable name. So similar syntax will follow over here. So what I am going to write is data type here the data type will be char and let's say variable name is symbol. So it is something declared like this char space symbol so symbol is the variable name that means the after the memory allocation has been done by your compiler that that particular place will be uh, identified as symbol that means after executing this particular line the compiler the comp what the compiler will do the compiler will create a space inside the memory how much space it will create that I am going to discuss in the next slide but now you just assume that if I am going to write this 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 line that is character symbol then one space is allocated in the memory and that space is referred as symbol. So symbol is the name of that particular space. So what I am going to store in the inside in this in this particular space I can store a single character in this particular place. Now let us understand how how the things has been written to store a character in it. So you can write it in two ways. The first way is you can write something like this during the declaration without writing this line you can directly write this line. Okay. So what you are going to write you will write character symbol is equal to single quote inside single quote you should specify the character name. Here I am specifying A. So I want to create a character variable named as symbol or a location whose name is symbol and I want to store A inside it. So if this space is allocated by the compiler A will be stored something like this. Okay. Now this can also be written something like this in the next line you can see here I can declare its symbol in the first line and I can assign the value at the second line. Okay. Now you just see here so I am declaring the symbol that means the symbol will be declared that means it, the memory will be allocated and the name is now symbol of that memory allocated block. When the second line gets executed, uh, sorry here the S should not be capital, it should be small because I have already declared the symbol uh, symbol small s over here. So that's why, that's why this should be small. So symbol is equal to A that means in that particular place A will be stored. So this is this line is actually called the declaration line declaration line and this line is called the initialization line means we have I have initialized initialize okay. So I have initialized a value to this symbol okay and if you consider this particular line here we have uh, declared and initialized both in the same line itself. So I have declared the variable symbol and immediately I have assigned a value to it okay. So that is called declaration and initialization statement. 
now that we have shown you how to declare a variable a single variable there is also possible that we we want to declare multiple variables of uh, character type so how to do that i can do this uh, like this so i'll declare character symbol comma store comma lamp that means here these three variables that is symbol store and lamp all are three different variable of character types so what the compiler will do compiler will allocate three different spaces for storing these three values so the first will be your symbol the name is symbol second one is your store and third one is your lamp okay after declaring the means after allocating the space then the compiler will wait for entering any value to it so how to enter the value so it can be done like a uh, in a single line as like this that is character symbol equal to at the rate comma store equal to f lamb equal to 5 so it will store like this at the rate f 5 and so on okay so all are treated, treated as characters now the same line can also be written something like this i have to declare the variables in one line then i will i have to assign the values in the uh, in subsequent lines like i have written symbol is equal to at the rate store equal to f lamb equal to 5 uh, so sorry for uh, making it capital so all these are small that is small s small s here small l because l is declared as small l okay so everything should be small now you understand how to declare a variable using character keyword and how to store the value so the next questions we have to discuss is how much space the compiler will allocate to store a character in the memory that i need to understand so we are declaring the variable something like this character symbol something like this so how much uh, space will be allocated so if you compare any compiler you can take this is depending upon the obviously the compiler but every compiler takes one means uh, one byte to store the information means store the symbol character now consider this memory segment in this memory segment there will be several blocks each block is a 8 bit block now if i'll declare character symbol like this then what will happen one byte of space is allocated by the compiler how, how, whichever compiler you are using that is immaterial every compiler allocate one byte uh, of uh, one byte of space for storing the data for a character now the name of that particular byte will be symbol right so this is uh, this is the concept that is called how much space we can allocate now let us understand if the space is 8 bit that is one byte means 8 bit then how much how many characters or how uh, what is the range of that particular space so to find out the range we need to understand what is two's complement representation of a number so two's complement i have already talked about this uh, in the uh, last but pre previous one uh, last last lecture is for integer and uh, um, before that i have declared discuss about two's, two's complement representation you just read that part so in two's complement representation the range is found out by the formula this okay and we are using two's complement representation in our computer system so where n represents your number of bits allocated so here how many bits are getting allocated for storing a character that is 8 bit so if it is 8 bit then n becomes 8 so if it is n then the put the n value in the formula so what you will get you will get 2 to the power 8 minus 1 2 plus 2 to the power 8 minus 1 minus 1 so the range will be actually minus 28 to 1 plus 127 now one question may come into your mind so that is something like this suppose a memory is allocated one byte of memory is allocated now i i already told you that mm, i am going to store the character inside it let's say a or at the rate or the mm, slash whatever that may be i i can only store one character inside it now if i am storing one character then what is the uh, what is the need of this finding out the range so uh, keep this question in your mind i will discuss in, it in the uh, in the last slide of this particular lecture okay now the obviously like your integer there will be some type modifier which can modify the character data type and there are two type modifier we used in case of a character uh, character uh, data type so that will be signed and unsigned and the keywords are used as signed and unsigned and if you remember signed and uh, character symbol both are same signed character or uh, only character both are same just now we have discussed the character symbol will take one byte of information that is 8 bit means 8 bit is allocated for storing a character value then the range will be minus 128 to 127 even if you use signed keyword along with the character symbol like this let's say i am writing signed character symbol then also 
we are trying to say the compiler that we will use positive numbers as well as negative numbers so the range will not be different as compared to your character symbol that means character as well as signed character both are same either you write character or you write signed character both are representing the same thing that means it will allocate 8 byte of memory a uh, sorry 1 byte of memory which is 8 bit and the range will be minus 128 to plus 127 okay now if i if i'll use unsigned character over here if i'll write unsigned character symbol then what will happen i want to store only positive numbers so in that case the size will be increased even if the allocation will be one byte but your range will be increased why the range, range will be increased you know that in a particular place you are storing uh, positive number as well as negative number that means it is 0 this is pl uh, my plus 127 and this is minus 128 now you want to store only positive numbers then obviously the range will be increased so the range will be increased from 0 to 255 so you just add this two value then this number of this type of value can be uh, stored inside that particular place now the questions may uh, that question that I have already discussed in the last slide uh, maybe maybe hit in your mind so what is that question the question is if I am going to store a character inside a uh, variable that means symbol is a character allocation for symbol is a uh, space which is where I want to store character variable then why should I am finding out the range ranges so this is because you understand this one so final table let us discuss then we will discuss that uh, question so final table will be if you are using character or signed character then the storage size will be 121 uh, byte which is the minimum value will be minus 128 and the highest value will be plus 127 if you are using unsigned character then it is also the storage size will be one byte and the range will be increased from 0 to 255 because we are only using positive numbers to store it now let us understand actually what happened to answer the question uh, understand this uh, generally whenever we want to store a character suppose you have alloc allocated the space it is 8 bit has been allocated and the uh, and the name is symbol so this much is allocated and the entire location is uh, uh, i mean called as symbol so if you want to store a character into it actually the character is not exactly stored inside that actually it is stored the ascii value of that so what is an ascii value ASCII it is a character encoding standard abbreviated as American Standard Code for Information Interchange. So that means it is a encoding standard, character encoding standard. Means every we cannot store a character inside a computer because what the computer will store? The computer will st only store one zero uh, means binary numbers. So how a character is getting stored inside the memory? So what will happen? The ASCII uh, standard says that every character has some ASCII value okay and we want actually we actually store the ascii value of that character so i have written this point so every character is actually represented an ascii code in the memory so if you see the for example i am given two examples over here capital a the ascii value is 65 small a the ascii value is 97 you should remember this two ascii value for this characters because it will be every ascii value will be assigned serially like if you remember capital a is 65 then if i'll ask you what is the ascii value of uh, b then obviously it will be 66 c will be 67 d will be 68 and similarly if you remember small a's ascii value is 97 then if i'll ask you small b then you can directly say this is 98 c will be 99 and so on okay so you should remember the ascii value of these two character that is capital a and small a because we are going to use this uh, in subsequent lecture uh, too much okay fine so that means actually the numbers are getting stored inside this particular area so if the num obviously the numbers will converted into binary format will be stored over here and if the number is going to be stored in this area then we need to uh, understand the range that's why we are talking about this range particularly 0 to 255 or one, minus 120 to 127 so this the, these are we are talking only for uh, showing you that the actually the numbers are stored not the character are stored okay so uh, this is uh, this is the reason we are uh, talking about the range range so i have collected the symbol table over here that is uh, means there is a uh, ascii table so where i can show you there are several symbols and whose ascii value are represented over here like a is rep the ascii value is 97 i have already talked about this and capital A has ASCII value of 65. Similarly, B, C, D, everybody has this 
ASCII values. Okay. Similarly, small a, small b, small a, b, c, d have some ASCII values. Like you are using different symbols like hash, hash has ASCII value, percentage has ASCII value, uh, bracket has ASCII value. So every symbol we are used in our, in our keyboard or in our programming, every symbol got as ASCII value. So that ASCII value is actually stored inside the memory whenever we want to store a character inside the memory. So this the, the ASCII table is not complete. There are other symbols too. But I have just collected one part of it to show you. Here I am showing 0 to 127, uh, 127 uh, value. Because you, you know that this the range will be minus 127 to uh, plus 128. Uh, sorry, minus, 120, minus 120 to plus 127. So I am showing 0 to 127 what are the characters. So besides that other characters value will be also there. You can find it out also, but for the timing, you, you cannot able to find it because you don't know about uh, lots of about programming. So when we discuss about a lot of programming, then we can also find out what is the ASCII value of every character. So that's all for the today's class. Thanks for listening. Bye bye.